Times day down. Times day down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to the Tube Stay Five. Thanks, Con <laughs> Hi! Welcome back. We are here in the Corn Zorn over on a Tuesday night. Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I'm a little uh, reoriented. Uh, I've got. I now have my talk box set up directly here in the hot tub, right in front of me. It, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's got a nice, a nice wet sound to it, this way, I find. Very, um, uh, oh, we're quiet, we're quiet? Oh, okay, let's get, let's juice it. How about now? Yeah, yeah, okay. A little quiet? How about that? I mean, I haven't changed a single thing, so that's always fun when that happens. Um, we're turning the volume up. How's that? Better? Oh, oh, you hear that? That's a, that's a guitar solo. I just don't need to juice it for one second. <laughs> uh, right on, we're listening to, uh, this is a real cool band. Power Disco from LA called, uh, what are they called? Cobra Man. Uh, Cobra Man, it's uh, great. I love it. Uh, real, real fun, real fun stuff. Uh, that's all. That's how they. That's how. That's like their tagline. Power disco from L.A. And it's like, right? You guys, you guys know exactly what you're doing. That's. <laughs> uh, yeah, right on. So, oh, uh, I hope everybody here's doing just fantastic. Um, we are, we are of course playing some more uh, X corn. I'm uh, sorry, X-Cone 2, uh, and you know, it feels, uh, it, it feels good to be, you know, sharing this, this, this game that is precious to me, you know, um, and, <laughs> uh, it's, it's honestly just really fun for me, you know, like, I, I, I try to, I try to, I try to make it fun for you guys, but really, it's just fun for me, uh, so I, I hope that you guys can, can, you know, are picking up some of the X the X Con action that's that's going down. I mean, there's been quite a bit of drama, you know. Uh, you know, X Con Jesus is dying and then rising again, uh, respawning just like regular Jesus, you know. Um, <laughs> uh, right on. So, uh, of course, uh, Cone Zone. 2021 we're always giving half of all of our money away we're giving half of it uh again tonight to uh the black girls code uh, a really awesome charity yeah I'm, I'm sure a lot of you if not all of you uh know what i'm talking about um getting uh getting uh women of color in those stem fields you know real fun real good stuff uh and you know like i i, I really think that like I really believe strongly in science, and uh, I, I believe uh, getting, you know, women, getting women of color for to be scientists is such a, a noble cause. You know, uh, I want, I would love to see diversity. Kind of shit. That's, anyway, uh, that's half of what half of what we make tonight. Going to that, uh, we're playing XCOM on the most pos most impossible difficulty I could possibly uh, muster. Um, yeah, uh, any, any new nerds here tonight? Any new nerds, maybe? Uh, looking, uh, looking at chat, maybe, uh, I don't recognize a couple of you, but if this is your first time, smash that F key! Uh, I love, I love to, I love, I love to, or if, or if you're just new generally, you know, maybe it's not your first time. It's fine, I love, I love seeing that shit. Um, I hope, uh, I hope that, uh, you know, I can uh, live uh, live up to all the the the, the hype. No, nope. well, welcome in. Hello, oh, welcome in. Yes, uh, Ultra Mega Yami Yu Gi Oh, and uh, Hanya Banania. Great to have you back. De uh, de cub de cubbler. Welcome in. Hey, thanks so much. T Bitzel. The the holy cow. I got a bunch of new nerds. Wow, I wonder. Wonder what it is. Is it 
What brings what brings you here? Is it is it the mustache? Or it's the hot tub, isn't it? It's the hot tub. It's the it's the newest No, maybe it's is it the game? I don't know. Maybe you're just curious. I don't know. Um But uh hell yeah. So we're playing Xcorn 2 and uh my favorite it's my favorite game of all time. Oh, and we're, we're playing, we're gambling with the lives of you, our viewers. I'm putting your lives on the line, as well as my life, lives, uh, as XCOM Jesus. You know, I'm able to um, bring myself back. I do it all the time. Uh, yeah, but, um, you know, it's a, it's, it's a great time. And uh, if, if, once again, if you're interested in being a soldier in our squad, um, I, uh, you can just email me. At GrooveCrusaderMusic at gmail.com. Haha! <laughs> your, 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 your name and your favorite colors. Maybe if you know anything about XCOM, you can name me some, um, email me some, uh, some more details, you know? Whatever. Do you want a mustache? Do you want a ponytail? Do you want a, a do you want a, a, a green afro? You know what? It doesn't matter. It's, it's, the world is your oyster. Uh, and I, I am slowly working through it. I'm prioritizing our, our top donors and our longest uh, subs, of course. But, uh, yeah. You can't have a mullet, though. You can't have a mullet in this game, which is so disappointing to me. Because I would totally just have a blue mullet. You know? Uh, yeah. But, you know. Dr. Sung only fans win. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it would basically just be this, but... In an actual hot tub, right? Um, <laughs> um yeah, right on. Okay, so uh, let's let's. See. Uh, I'm gonna just gonna say say hello to a couple of sweet nerds who have kindly donated. Holy shit, we've got a level four hype train already. I don't know how you guys always do that. I don't know how you guys. Sorry, no, 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 Barkley. This, this hot tub is sorry. This hot tub is real. I just meant. Uh, a real Lee Big hot tub is what uh, my OnlyFans would be. It would just be me in a real Lee Big hot tub. Um, yeah. Um. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, hey, Shiro, thank you so much. Thank you so so much. Uh, I'm doing I'm doing great today. Busy day. I hope you're doing just dandy. Thank you so much, Barkley. Five two three. Thank you. Thank you. I hope. I hear the faint borking of a goober. You hear that? <laughs> woo woo! Sounds, it sounds just like woo woo! Woo woo woo! Can you hear it? Oh man. I don't know if you can hear it. It might, it might be gated. The noise might be gated. Anyway, Gooby is borking. He probably just sees another doggo. Or maybe a squirrel. Maybe one of those dang cats. Yeah. Uh, but Barkley, thank you so much. Uh, my weekend was actually really great. Uh, I went to the science center um, and uh, learned from a bunch of scientists and uh, it was really fun, you know? Um, I've got actually a really great picture. To remind me now, I should, I should share that shit. Um, uh, rest in peace, Samsung Galaxy. Ah, rest, I mean, it's a great brand, you know? As, you know, for obvious reasons, I think that. Um, uh, nice watching on a bigger screen. Hey, that's nice. Yeah, I mean you can get really get the high def uh, all, You can see all the bubbles in the in the hot tub. It's really great um, Fingers crossed for no casualties in XCOM tonight. Yeah Yeah, that's all we can really hope for Friday's child. Thank you so much XCOM story question Do the events of War of the Chosen take place concurrent with the events of regular XCOM 2 or after or what they 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 take place I guess in Yeah, they're concurrent the, with uh they take place. It's as if XCOM 2 was always War of the Chosen, basically. They, they happen at the same time. Um, uh, yeah. Um, good question, though. Um, which and the the events of this game, of course, happen 20 years after the events of XCOM 1. Uh, XCOM 1. Um, yeah. Uh, Cinder and Smoke, the 19 months. Thank you so much, Infinity Break. What's up, dude? How are you, man? How many since do you think? You own after all these years of Groove Crusading, asks Infinity. Uh, mm, I don't know. It depends. Yeah, I would say in the vicinity of like six to ten. Um, 
I got a lot of like little boutique synths as well, you know, like modules that aren't full ass, you know, keyboards, full ass keyboard synthesizers. Um, is the is the donut the dono notification is is real loud? That's so weird because usually it's like blastingly loud for me, but it's not tonight. But it's loud for you. I'll 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 scale back the mustard on that one. Full ass keyboards. A. A. Wallace knows a thing or two about full ass keyboards. Hell yeah, bud. I love myself an ass keyboard. You know? Like, like full size ass keyboard? Uh, sorry, guys. Oh, let's turn this shit down. I don't know why. It just, it, you know, sometimes my, my computer just is like, hey, let's turn this up tonight. Let's turn this down. You know? Whatever. Um, a keyboard for your ass. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Um, right on. Uh, Cinder and Smoke, thanks so much. Happy Tuesday to you. Happy Tuesday, yeah. Um, what, uh, I thought you'd be interested to know that I was talking to my dad, a fellow music nerd, and he said the coolest band name he's ever heard is Shatner Power Slide. Shatner Power Slide. That is a great name. Is that Dono Notification better now? Is that alright? I think, I think it's better. Shatner Power Slide. I got a... Based on that name alone, I'm going to look that up. So they, don't la they didn't last long, but they made cool weird jams. I love Breast Fist. <laughs> Amazing. Um, uh, AA, thanks, buddy, for the 12 months. Really appreciate it, dude. Um, Mordecara, thank you as well for those, for those gifties. Ah, uh, my shit is frozen. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, is my mouse wheel just busted? Huh. I think my mouse wheel must have just busted. What well, do you know about that? That's gonna make XCOM challenging, even more challenging than it needs to be. Mordecai, thank you so much for those for those gifties. Lana, for those gifties, you sweet, sweet, sweet person. Appreciate you guys so much. Airy Imaginary! Great to have you back. Been a while since I tuned in, got my second Pfizer in under two weeks. Getting your second Pfizer in under two weeks. Hell yes. Hell yes. Congratulations, that's so awesome. Yoshi the Shiba! Any Halloween costume suggestions for Yoshi? Um. Um. Hmm. How about, uh. How about. Hmm. How about Rem Lazar? I, I mean, that would be really easy to pull off for a dog. Get him his quixotic medallion, little blue mullet on top on that little guy. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, folks, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate all you kind and wonderful and gentle, generous people. Geniful. Geniful people. Full of generosity. You're geniful. Uh, you're not Jennifer. Although some of you are. Um, so, yeah. What do you say we, we, we dive right in? Tilafir, thank you for the 16 months. I haven't been able to catch a stream in a bit, but it's great to have you here. Thank you so much. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah, big shout out to uh, any, any, any Jennifers, uh, especially if you're Jennifer. Uh, right on. Let's, let's give this uh, War of the Chosen uh, a, a, a squeeze, shall we? Um, Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do it. So, what happened recently? By the way, by the way, I would like to point out, uh, I had I had a, a realization or uh, today that both times that we've had to um, restart the campaign, or I guess there was maybe one more, but both times that we got past the first mission and ate shit, uh, was because of a sectoid. So, Normally, so I'm playing with a, I'm playing a modded version of, of War of the Chosen. I'm playing on the hardest difficulty possible. I'm playing on playing on impo uh, legendary, and no saves coming. It's uh, called Honest Man, and uh, I'm playing with this mod called A Better Advent, which basically just makes a bunch of variations of Advent units of like enemy units makes them better uh, and improves their AI. And the sectoids, those bastards in that in that uh, in that. Um, mod 
they they changed the AI of the basic sectoid, specifically the basic sectoid, to be to have a very aggressive combat AI. And both times, like when XCOM Jesus, when uh, Doctor Sung uh, got shot in the face with a green laser beam, that was a sectoid who did like a ballsy ass move out of cover, just running out of cover. So in my defense, uh, we're playing with all the rules that I thought I knew. I don't. I don't know them now. So this game is even more difficult. Let's play it. This is get it. This is gonna be great. Let's let's get to it. So uh, I don't know who the hell Katia Martinez is. I'm gonna replace her with with one of you nerds. We've got uh, uh, Corbley's Yoshi the Sheba's on this mission and Sarah Scara, and then this random rookie nerd who's a rookie and a nerd. Um, let's go forward. Let us advance. So uh, our mission is to destroy this power relay before seven turns is up. So we got to giddy up. We got Closing to giddy up. Oh, hey, we found some nerds over here. That was I definitely spotted a nerd. Heading out. So these sectoids are so dangerous now like not only can they mind control our weak ass rookie ass units very easily with their low will scores but um you know they uh they also will just run out of cover and run straight at us and shoot us in the face as we've learned so we're gonna get set up here to try to set up an ambush um Yeah, we're gonna get you up on. Is there any high ground? So, yeah, Sarah Scare is a sharpshooter. Meaning they're gonna hang. Oh, hey, that's really interesting. Sarah Scare, Sarah Scare can see the target and see this thing from here. Uh, so she's got squ uh, squad sight of it. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna move. Sarah Scara up here. She might not even move from this position at all this game. So we'll see how that plays out. Um, I don't want them to patrol too far away from me. That would be unfortunate. I think I can move safely. How about, like, how about this? Like this. I'm gonna move forward. Do a pistol overwatch. It doesn't matter at all. So we, we kind of need to prioritize. Normally I wouldn't prioritize these uh, sectoid dicks. Uh, normally I'd prioritize the, the troopers because they just normally would always shoot and do damage. Uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna try to fuck up the sectoid. Primarily. Um, we're gonna get a little bit closer. Who's got good aim? That's not good aim, Yoshi, unfortunately. That's not the great aim. Corvus got decent aim. Gotcha, how's your aim? It's shit, you're a, you're a poopy little, 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 uh, rookie nerd. Poopy rookie nerd. Let's see one of these nerds. Let's get you closer. Confirmed. Order's confirmed, moving out. This is... What if we can? What we can? Good. Could be good. But no, we're not gonna waste that grenade. We're gonna set up an ambush. So right now, of course, we're in concealment, folks. That's what this icon up here is. Concealed. We are concealed. Um. And we're gonna set up this ambush. We're gonna open up by trying to shoot this sectoid dick. Although I wonder if we yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for that. We're gonna save one of these nerds for a different for a grenade. Here we go! 73% shot! Come on, baby! Give me a big hit! That's not a bad hit. That's not bad. Um, please make some hits, folks. That would be great. Whoa! 
Whoa, that's a huge miss. Whoa, that's another huge miss. Hey, that's not the best. Not the best at all. Can we can we get a direct hit with this grenade? Oh man, I would love to be able to hit that guy. Oh baby, I hope we can kill him. Let's kill him! Frag out! Let's go! Blow him up real good. Make me so proud. What? Two <laughs> damage? Your grenade does three to four damage! How do you do less than three damage? Son of a bitch. Okay. Well, that's fun. Um, okay. Let's sit, let's sit to weigh our options here. It, it, it's two damage if they're in full cover, but the grenade was thrown past them. I, I do still have the grenade mod, yeah. So it's, it's, um, it does reduce damage from the center of impact, uh, with, with this, uh, mod. So, yeah. Uh, I don't want to waste all of my grenades just yet. So let's see, let's weigh our options here. Maybe I will just waste our grenades, because I really, really do not want to let them run away, because that's what fucked us up when Dr. Sung died before. Oh, that's a direct hit. We can definitely... We can definitely kill this dick right here. Um, and then... We can blow this guy up. That's. I, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna waste all of our grenades early on, and so that we can play aggressively later. Whoop. Will you throw the grenade, please? Here, catch. Okay. Sectoid is dead. I love it. This guy. This friggin' guy. Um, uh, suppose we'll take, we'll just take a courtesy shot. Just, you know, just for shits and gigs. Maybe, maybe we have a one in three chance of, uh, killing this guy in one hit and saving a grenade. Just come on, Sarah Scare. Okay, it's okay. That would be nice. Uh, we are still safely going to kill this nerd, though, I think. Move into position. I'm gonna blow his stupid little... Box up. And then uh, Corblis is gonna run forward a bit. I don't know if I should go this far forward. It might aggro some more nerds. So we're just gonna go as far as we can see already. Okay, okay. We've got a four out of five chance to kill this nerd now. Please kill this nerd. More trust in 33 than 90, right? Yeah, 90, 90 knows how to break hearts. 90% knows knows how to knows how to break a man's heart. Um. So we're gonna aggro this this pod right here when we step forward. How the fuck are we supposed to kill this? Does it die in one hit? Because we've only got four turns, and there's definitely like two pods left. Is this supposed? To, I, I can't remember these missions. Um. Let's get Orb into full cover. Getting there now. Advent forces on the ground. Phoenix here. Oh. Yes, that is a flanking shot from squad site. Oh, I love it! Please, please kill on a 61% shot. 61%, come on, baby. Let's do it. Sarah Scare, make us proud. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Um, okay. So, so squad site, folks, is when 
See, no, that nerd was over here, which is normally outside of Sarascara's um, field of vision. But snipers have the ability to shoot things that other squad mates can see. So that's nice. And that's what happened, is this nerd didn't see Sarascara and then left his flank open like a dingus. Like a friggin' dingus. Um, so we're gonna charge forward a little bit. Um, there's definitely still gonna be another pod of dicks over here. So, um, we're gonna try and get close. I don't know if we should just take the, take the full cover. And then, and then duke it out next turn. I feel like that's probably the safe move. Because this would get us into a nearly flanking position. Uh, let's do that. And we'll just overwatch. Overwatch. You know what, maybe we can take shot. 45% shot to kill this dick is pretty good. Let's go for it. 45%. It's okay. That is to be expected. Oh, come on. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh! Missed on another 45% shot. That's a little disappointing. Um... Transmission is still active and we're running out of time. So get to the relay and take it out. How many shots does this thing take? Does it, can, can somebody who's played uh, War of the Chosen recently tell me, does this take one shot to kill? Because in Long War, it takes it takes many shots to kill that thing. It is a few shots? Son of a bitch. Oh my god. That is so brutal. One sip per dick? Are we, are we making a drinking game out of XCOM? Cause... That sounds, that sounds dangerous. Sips of water, oh, okay. I mean, even so, there's probably, it's probably, there's probably danger in that. If you're, if you're drinking every time somebody misses, <laughs> you're gonna die of like, water poisoning. Too much water, dude. The de health of the device re ranges from 6 to 8 and changes game difficulty. Alright, thank you for that. So, that is brutal. We're gonna... We're gonna have to... So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to get Sarah Scara to reload this time. This... This turn. We're gonna try to... And then we'll have two turns where we can get Get within squad sight and shoot it. That's the game plan here. That is the game plan. Rock and roll. <laughs> I love it. The Italian rock and roll. A rock and roll. Um. Some full cover still. I want to get so we can get if we go here. That's good. I like this. Here, that's a good bed. Get a burr. All right. So I've got a game plan. How can we so here's what we're gonna do. One up burr. Good to go. Corb is gonna can Corb blow this guy up? I wonder if that will destroy that cover, because that would be sweet if we could reload and then then uh, blow it up. That would be really, really great. I don't want to risk it. I'm just gonna 
advance a little bit further with Katya. Rolling. Keep advancing. Moving. Look, oh, we can blow this guy up here. Let's do this. This is for you. That's probably gonna clear cover, maybe. Not at all. That's a bummer. That's a bummer, dude. Um, we will just overwatch. And then Sarascara is going to just hang tight. Because we're going to get into... Oh, come on. Kill it. 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 What? What was that? What the fuck was that? Didn't even show a percentage. Was that just a... Was that just a 0% shot? Just like a negative one, like did we just divide by zero to calculate how much of a miss that was? Oh, does it not show when there's no line of sight? But how could there not be line of sight when I'm shooting? So they went into the fog of war. Okay, that's that's new, that's new to me. I've been playing Long War for, Long War 2 for like 1500 hours, <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So I'm just gonna get into what I'm gonna do. Get into squad site. Just take a peek at the objective because you can see when we get to this uh, this tile, there's it becomes a crosshair on the objective here, which means that it's within sight. We're gonna do this. On my way. We've got the objective in sight. Oh, okay, so it's got six no health. We have a positive ID on the alien relay. It's not so bad at all. Not so bad at all. Maybe we can kill it in one shot. Wouldn't that be dandy? Oh! I like that. <laughs> Looks like oh, what? Destruction of the relay. The alien transmission Holy is fuck. Down. Okay, so... And move to evac. They just, uh... They just drop on us like that, eh? You're gonna do us like that, huh? Well, I have the high ground. Let's do this, nerd. I'm on it. It's killing time. We're gonna reload. Got it covered. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm not sure if I should. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should pull back so as not to aggro this other gaggle of nerds. I think I'm, I think I probably should do that. Cuz they're going to they're going to advance on me and then it's going to be a goddamn mess. Or uh, gosh, I'll just start watch it. It's probably going to be a kill. Wow. That's brutal, dude. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of hit points to... Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh, that's so bad! The, the missed, we missed on a 70% and a 40%. The what the fuck is this?! What?! That's not fair! That's not fair at all! Oh my god! The drone just, like, healed the f <laughs> That fucking sucks, dude! They took away all of that work. That's exactly what they did, those fucking dicks. Alright, well, at least we have squad sight flanking shot on this uh, officer. Come on, baby. Come on, Saraska! Let's go, baby! Okay, alright. I love that. Um, okay, now you, my stupid little robotic friend, you are gonna gonna get shot at. That's what you're gonna do. I'm gonna shoot at you. Yeah, how do you like that? You're gonna get shot at, sucker. Um, what is this Advent Medi Drone? So, I guess it does 
I, that's his primary function, is just to heal up nerds. <laughs> okay. So let's just shoot it. We're gonna shoot it. That's what we're gonna do. It's killing time. And really hope that it doesn't, uh, that we don't miss twice. It's not a lot of damage. Can we? Let's rock. Please, please, please kill it. Oh, thank you. Katya? Katya? This is good. I like this. So, get over here. I'm gonna pull into high cover. And then the load. Ready to go. <laughs> Barkley, you've been picking up my cackle laugh. So here. sorry. Oh, that's nasty. Oh my god. It, it is now a five on four. Okay. This is gonna take some real cracker jack timing, folks. Um, okay, so if we move here, we can take this flanking shot on the sectoid. There's still so much hit points there. Oh my god. This is nasty. Okay, so. Oh boy. Is there a way we can get up to some high ground? Squats, like. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, folks. I think that maybe the best course of action would be to fall back and try to get try to bait some some nice uh, squad site shots off. Oh boy. This is a nasty situation. Cause I can't even I can't even one shot this sectoid. That's not even possible. <clears throat> So, this sectoid has Mind Spin and Psy Reanimation. Oh, this is stressful. We've got like, good, pretty good shots from up here, though. But I just don't think we can... Because if we don't pull back, then probably Sarascaro will be, like, useless in this fight. And we need all the firepower we can get. Fuck away! Bravely running away! I think this is far enough away. Moving out. Hey, Brucey! What's up, bud? How you doing, man? Um, what kind of fight we talking about? Oh, this is much more fierce than finger, finger snapping. Oh my god, are you still just gonna move in and mind control? Evac. We need wow. Evac now, damn it. Are you gonna are you gonna shoot us? Are you gonna shoot your squad mates? Oh no, you're gonna shoot an enemy. That's kinda neat. 
How can you tell how many turns are left? Um, so right now... We have, we have unlimited turns right now. Um, because we completed the, the, the objective of destroying the relay. Um, we now have a, as many turns as we need to neutralize all enemy targets, which is the remaining objective. So this is kind of what I was after. Uh, getting getting Sarascara into some good firing position. 43% shot, I'll take it. Come on, please hit, please. All right, I'll take it. Four damage. It's not very much, but balls. It'll have to do. 52% shot. I will also take those odds. Come on. Please kill it. Oh, just kill it. So good. Oh! He did it! Oh! And the panic is removed? Everything's coming up Millhouse. Oh, screw these nerds. I'm gonna reload and shoot you in the face. It's okay. We missed the face. But that's okay. We're still in high cover. Still a bunch of nerds. I'll, I'll take the 40% right. shot all fucking day. As long as I'm in full cover. This is great. Good riddance. <laughs> oh, low cover, you say? Oh, low cover. I bet you think you're cool in your low cover, you little idiot. Yeah, well, you're a little idiot. 50% chance to die? That's unfortunate. Um, we are just gonna keep doing this old Overwatch thing. Forty percent shot. I will still take that all day. Oh my god! This is going so well. This is going quite well, actually. I'm really into this oh, yeah. squad right now. I'm on it. That was looking like a pretty nasty situation for a while. But these dicks. Oh, you think you're. <laughs> you think you're gonna. You think I'm gonna come to you? You <laughs> think I'm coming to you? No! Not. Order's confirmed Not coming on the to you at all. Other than um, so you can get to any other high cover, the dudes. Here we go. A little scared to move further. So I'm not. Covering now. Ready to rock. So I'm just gonna load. Now. All right, we're gonna load you. Ora di uccidere. Do a missile overwatch. Come on down, nerds. Honest effort. There's one nerd remaining. Kill confirmed. Advent demolitionist. Interesting. That is a, a new variant. I think we're just gonna chill and overwatch. Perhaps even pull back further. Real friggin' uh, wrecking squad here. On Overwatch. Enemy activity. Oh, he's just gonna hunker down all the way. Interesting. Okay. He's digging in. So well, here's our here's our new plan. We're gonna shoot him from squad site. Maybe. Maybe not. I'm scared to move forward. This guy. There she. Moving. You're down. Holding. It's scanning. Come get some. What's making that noise? I think he's still just hunkering down. Oh, there he goes.
That's a flawless mission. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Oh, yeah, baby. Even now. Great job. Great job. Flawless. Bruce, that one was for you, bud. That was for you. I was honestly quite worried there. When suddenly it became uh, a five versus four. Yeah, that was rough. What's their, what's their team name? That's great. That's, that's great. Um... And an attack shred armor or blast pattern. Okay. So do we make them tougher or do we do we make Corb tougher or do we make him uh tread through armor better? Hey Rising Suns! Welcome in! Thank you for finally being here! Golly! Welcome new nerd, yes indeed. Shredder. Um I can't remember how. I can't remember how exactly. How much uh, armor appears in War of the Chosen. But probably Shredder. It's just better all around, especially for a high aim. Yeah, we're gonna go with Shredder. A high aim gunner. Gonna shred some armor, baby. Um, medical or combat? So, medical protocol on the specialist, um, heals more HP per, uh, charge or, st or stabilize. Hmm. I generally prefer combat protocol because things that are dead can't do damage to you. Um, because combat protocol does two damage to start. Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be a... Uh, I'm gonna go with protocol. Yoshi! Yoshi, what do you want to do? Do you want to do damage? You want to zap nerds with your uh, with your hacker robot, or do you want to fucking uh, heal squad mates? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go with combat. I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that you said that you said that. Capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. Yeah. Okay. So Katya, even though her hair is bitching, even though her look is generally bitching, those shades and that. That uh, that do. Uh, we're gonna make we're gonna make you into a cornzorn nerd. Yes, we are. So I'll let this play out. I don't know if we've watched this before. Hello, Commander. The but we did, right? We did watch this. Is no more. Its membership have all sworn loyalty to the Advent Administration. Yeah. All right. With one exception. It is good. All right. Objective. Uh, Mr. Voiceman is the spokesperson. He's an insider in the Advent Administration. Uh, okay. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. Got an engineer. I've That's good. Our objectives based on the latest information. Excellent work, Commander. Your efforts like we're gonna need to start to bolster the resistance out. movement across the globe. Nerds ASAP. <laughs> Is that Brendan Fraser? Brendan Fraser, if he like. pours larynx out or something, I, I don't know. What, what would possibly make your voice like that? Um, okay, so. 
Let's take a quick peek at our soldiers. So, officers might be more resourceful than your average here's, trooper. Here's the thing. I doubt our forces will have any trouble bringing in a test subject for Tigan to look at. Here's the thing. Especially I couldn't I couldn't update any of our any of our the looks of our nerds. I couldn't customize our nerds. Um because I had saved the game from within from the commander from within uh, the mission so I couldn't edit our soldiers uh without playing ahead so uh remind me to 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 end the game tonight, make sure that we save, end the game when, um, before we load up a mission. Because that way, between now and the next stream, I can go in and, and uh, edit all of our nerds. So, um, you know what, real quick, I suppose, uh, I suppose I gotta say hello to a few people. Hey, 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 Shigamori. Shigamori, thank you for the two months, appreciate it. Welcome. Um, welcome back, I guess, to your second month. Mordecara, yay science. Hell yeah. Yay science. Couldn't have said it better myself. The Jen Ben. Thank you for the sub. Jen, I hope you're doing well. Uh, is it, I hope you guys are, are having fun out there. Living, living your best life. Um, end of the game at the end of the stream. <laughs> is that what I said? End the game. End, end the stream. End the stream. End the stream before the game, before the end of the aim game ends stream, for the load mission. The mission is to load the game before the stream ends. Um. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Nil the hog. Thank you for the nine months. The trapper finally got the buff he desperately needed. Really? Are you fucking serious? Uh, but now he loudly moans like a Neanderthal <laughs> uh, when he reaches max traps. It's something. <laughs> That's fantastic. It is bad. Oh man, like a. The, I mean the the trapper already was a was a was a um an an oral uh standout. I, I would say because. He sounds like a bovine of some sort with his, like, his huffing and, like, his, like, leather frickin' crunching. It's, he's very, uh, he's got a very, he's got a vibe. He's got a sound vibe to him. So now he's just, <laughs> he's now just like a, uh, it's a, a, a moaning, a moaning trapper man. I gotta, I, have, I haven't played Dead by Daylight in a while. Um, not even since they added, they added fucking, I don't know if I, I, I haven't talked about this on stream, but they added Hellraiser to that game. Hellraiser. Officially, Hellraiser, the fucking rules. Um, uh, yeah. Um, Pinhead they added, it's, that's, like, so rad. Um, I, I, I'll get back to it. Basically, I go through, like, a rotation of games every, like, every year. As the seasons change, so so does the game that I play. Uh, in the in the in the summer, late summer slash fall, um, it's XCOM, um, and then and then in the sp spring to like early summer, it's Dead by Daylight. Pretty much, that's kind of that's at least that's been how it's played out the last three years. It's weird, but it's just how it happens. I. I I love what I love, man. I love I love the games that I love. Uh, Mebbles, thank you so much for the 19 months. Holy crap! Uh, I think I need to make you a soldier, don't I? Hey, yeah. So if you want to friggin' um, if you want to friggin' make uh, get me to customize a soldier for you, uh, just you know, let me uh, let me know. Send me a friggin' email. Um, uh Mungo Burrows, thank you for the three months. Appreciate it very much. Um Chuck Busterford. Chuck Bust Orford. Chuck Bust Orford. I I I am I'm noticing, I'm seeing your, your name change. Uh what's good? I had a shit day, but I'm happy to be hanging out tonight. Thank you for being here. I I, I hope I hope your day can be even just a smidgen better. Uh now that you're here amongst um Amongst your fellow nerds, uh, will I play? Will I be playing Dead by Daylight once Spooky Season? Yes, yes, I will. Uh, almost certainly, uh, Dead by Daylight has like some cool Halloween events usually, and 
Also, it's like kind of, you know, next up in the rotate. Um, but uh, yeah, thank you, Chuck. Um, and you know I'll be playing with you nerds out there, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll see you out in the fog, Chuck. Uh, stop it, Scary. Thank you so much. Sorry about the mind control. <laughs> yeah, you really, uh, you really, uh, you really let me down with that uh, last that last campaign there, Scary. You know, like you're the only one with a grenade, and you friggin' went and let yourself be mind controlled by a skinny, weird alien man. I'm a, like, I'm, I gotta be honest, a little disappointed. All we can try to do is just, just try to do better. Uh, going, oh, and like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> you like your alien skinny and weird. Um, okay, so Yoshi bonds with who? Whoops. Okay, I didn't quit. Yoshi bonds with Dr. Sung. That's that's a pretty good action. That's actually really good because um Templars are, are dudes that charge the frig in. Uh, if you, Barkley, if you sent an, an email last stream, uh, don't worry, I will get to you. Um, everybody who sent emails already with, with their custom soldiers, um, I, I, I wanted to, but I, like I said, because I was already, I had saved the game, our campaign, inside a mission, I wasn't able to edit our soldiers. So I'm going to get to you if you sent me an email. Uh, we've got all these nerds here. We've also got... Uh, these nerds here and as we as we bring in new nerds um, especially if they're if they're unnamed like Amy Smith and Aiko Miyamoto things like that we're gonna we're gonna rename those nerds and uh, yeah uh, okay so anyway where were we we are I believe, I believe we all caught up there uh, yeah all right so let's go take a look at the geoscape Shall we? Local resistance You're there twice? In the area can get you into the site, but you will need to make contact with their network. Tuba, are you in there twice? This is only the beginning, Commander. Really? Your leadership will We've be got another to our people engineer. across the globe. That is neat. Um, but I definitely have to go get these supplies before they vanish. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so tired status means that, um, let's go look, read about it. Does it tell us? It doesn't tell us. Um, but it, it tells us somewhere. Uh, I wouldn't mind a refresher. Anyway, um, once, to my, to the best of my recollection, uh, all it does is, uh, it's a measure of your will, so your will deteriorates during missions, as, uh, as XCOM soldiers become tired and their mental health disintegrates over multiple missions and so on, um, <clears throat> they become tired. If you send them into battle, uh, into another mission while they're still tired, they will become exhausted, which uh, means that they can't go into missions again until they're fully healed back. Uh, and I think they get like debuffs as well, like they can they can get like negative traits, stuff like that. Yeah, it's it's an incentive exactly, Asherbug. It's an incentive to make you use different soldiers instead of just having like four soldiers that are your A team and that you run every single mission kind of thing, right? So. It's kind of not so great. If we if we are tired, everyone is tired and injured who is not a rookie. So that sucks. So we're definitely going to get uh, some nerds. Most likely we're going to have to send some Avengers nerds and tired. New yeah, and they're also, Reyna, that's correct. They're also susceptible to um, mind control and to panic during missions and so on. Strategic oh, you know what? Located. Realized. I think, um, whoops. I need to prioritize Hello, our Commander. work. Is
is well underway. Resistance communications be first. Before my research is uh, I need a scientist to research sectoid. Commander, you've already dedicated. It's more important to research resistance, resistance communications right now than an advent However, officer autopsy because something else officer autopsy I'll direct our is uh, it's just like a storyline immediately compressor. Once we I mean, it does other stuff, but I'll send word. Avenger, snatch this course. engineer. How can we name a character? Okay, so uh, I'll, I'll type my, my email in. I should really make a command for this. I don't know why I haven't done this yet. Groot Crusader. Let me pause this. Groot Crusader music at l.com. Um, send your soldier customization here. Did I spell it right? I did. Um, so I, I kind of just opened it up last stream to all all viewers can send in their customization info. Um, I'm prioritizing, of course, uh, nerds who were like top donors and longtime subs and whatnot. But um, there, there are going to be a lot of nerds. Continue to make the lives of my followers difficult, but yes. with your help. This mission may prove less dangerous. Uh. Okay. This is a sit rep mission from the Templar. Horde. Oh. So we get, uh, Dr. Abigail Brown. We get some intel. And we get a, a soldier. So, we're gonna have to take this mission. Oh man, I really wish my Templar was fucking oh, not injured. Those are really good rewards, yeah. Um setting course for sector nine, Western United okay. States. So somebody who has played War of the Chosen Commander, recently. You should be aware. We're detecting lost activity in this area. Our forces will need to be especially vigilant. Um if okay my question to you is now if we um if i choose to ignore that like if i press this back button will this mission be gone forever or do i have or do i have um it will be gone forever I don't have any time to, to recover any more, like my soldiers at all? Okay. Because in Long War, the infiltration mechanic means that you can you have an option to... It takes three hours to expire. A very small amount of time. I feel like we're so close to recovering. Oh, look at... They're all within one day. Oh. That's too risky though, isn't it? Will the cho- Yeah, Tired can still do it. Tired are gonna have to do it. Okay, so, uh... Sarah, gonna have to go. Because we need your pistol. Um... <clears throat> is, is there gonna be a Chosen showing up here? Or is it just gonna be the Horde? The Chosen would show in the sit rep, wouldn't they? There will be a chosen here. Okay. Okay. So this could go unwell. Uh. So we don't want to bring a grenadier because explosions attract more lost. Specialist is like okay. I think we're gonna bring. Our... Oh fuck! Okay. Whoops. Let's not cancel that mission. Um. Okay. Let's start. Let's start from scratch here. Heh. 
Listen, nobody stole my doctorate. I know that's not true because they took it away. They revoked it. Powers that be. Um, okay. I'm gonna bring... We're gonna, we're gonna at least bring some high aim nerds. So this is good. 12 aim is really good. Or 75 aim is really good. So nothing's coming. <laughs> Toad Sensei. With the fucking... <laughs> these, these are the most stylized nerds we have. And they both have high ass uh, aim. The, the... Hey! Hey, Bev. What's going on? Okay, so we're gonna bring... I think this is what we have to. We're gonna, we're gonna go with. Uh. I think this is gonna be what we what we do. We don't have any other options, right? Yeah, let's freaking do it. Or you know what? Maybe we should bring a specialist. No, we're gonna bring the... Yeah, okay. I'm really nervous about this one. Should we even bring... Third? Or we're just gonna bring... No, we're gonna bring... We're gonna bring another rookie. Fuck it. Oh. Here we go! Here we go. So just because, In position to drop. just because um, these soldiers are tired, it doesn't actually affect their performance on this mission, except for their being able to uh, get mind controlled easier, kind of thing. But it's after this mission that they're going to the be exhausted and could possibly get some negative traits and shit like that. Into an area that we know to be completely overrun by the lost. Don't ask me what they were doing down there, but now they've gotten themselves stranded, and the Resistance is asking for our help. We'll have to do what we can to avoid being overrun. Don't fuck up it. I'm doing. I'm gonna do my best. So my very, the Resistance very best. expedition is trapped not far from your position, and the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the loss. We only have one clear access point to the area. So get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. Yes. The whole place is overrun with lost. Turns Don't until ammo runs out. Okay. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. Okay, so we got a giddy up over here. Four turns to get from here to there. Uh, and we can... Kind of forget about cover because it's my way. just the lost here. Wait, are those well, these, these zombie dicks? The alien devices dropped during the first invasion had a degenerative um, effect. They're melee the only, causing their physical and mental health Although, to rapidly decay while maintaining primitive organic functions. Approach with caution. So, commander. when we, they are certain, why can't we see that guy? Uh see him here so when we when we kill them in one shot goddamn when we kill them in one shot uh, we get a, an action refunded uh, they don't they don't regen but they do um, come in waves like there's an unlimited un like uh, uh, yeah, an unlimited uh, number of them. Okay, so... So we really want to get... Up... Here. And we're gonna have to... Shoot some of these nerds. To do that. Make it safe, because we can't, we can't sprint all the way up there, so... 
Here's the, here's the move. Moving on target location. Uh, okay, so got a 81% chance to shoot this nerd. Good. Nemico eliminato. Um. Can't see this nerd with with Nethy. 69% isn't very good. Can see here. Yeah, son of a bitch. Moving out. Oh my god, okay, that's not good. That's not a good start. Uh, Nethi is... Oh boy. In danger! Oh my god, we just missed two 80% shots in a row! So we're gonna just try and clear the way as much as we can with these nerds. Target disabled. Target down. Or sorry, that. Yeah. My okay. ammo's running low. And, wow, actually, Nethy is just torching these, torching these nerds. Um. Locked and loaded. We're just gonna reload, and then. That's just gonna move forward. Hopefully not aggroing anything more. Alright, we got some more nerds in the mix. So we need I believe just one nerd to to get over there. Okay, so there are two. I think we can get two nerds up here. Is that these are the two ladders? If we block the ladders, the loss can't come up, or they have to take the long way around anyway. Um, okay. We're just gonna fucking run like hell. Code sense is gonna get up there. These guys are just gonna try and make it Roll safe it up out. here. Please, please don't aggro. Okay, amazing. Okay, this is good. This is all good. Okay, we're safe for this turn. Yeah, they're just gonna kind of run around. The expedition bunch of ding dongs. Ammo reserves. If that turret runs out, the loss is so, quick work of them. This... We need to reach the group before that happens. If one of us can get up over here, I think that's gonna be Katya. Um. Katya is gonna run for it. Are, you, are we gonna aggro anymore? No, we're not. That's. I'd love to see it. So I think we can sprint to them next turn. Okay, we did aggro something here. What the hell is this armored nerd? This is a, this is something from the mod from a, a better admin, apparently. But there's, uh, Katya is still safe this turn. Uh, Star Commander Nebulous, hey, what's up? 
you you no idea what you're looking at. This is okay. So this is my favorite game ever. It's called XCOM 2. It is a turn-based tactical strategy game where we are playing a human resistance faction uh, fighting against the alien oppressors who invaded Earth 20 years ago. Um, and right now we are fighting through the streets of uh, the of the ruins of Vancouver. Um, and they, we got these we got these radiation zombie nerds here uh, that are um, giving us some grief, as as they say. It's an ex it's it's in my opinion the most challenging game. So if we miss on a 25% shot, I'm gonna cry. Or a 95% shot, I'm gonna cry. Don't miss the shot. Please. Okay, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. We're just gonna clear some of these nerds out. You know what I mean? Um. Moving to designated coordinates. And then safely we can move Nethi up upper. Headed there now. And we will use Overwatch. Scanning. Continue to Overwatch. Pistol Overwatch is good. The readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. These lost seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are Oof. likely to draw even more of them. What the hell is this guy? Why has he got so much hit points? Commander. Yeah, we gotta go. I know. Stop yelling at me, Bradford. God damn it. Uh, will we be able? Boy, I'm not aggroing anything more. 80%. I can't risk that shot. We're gonna go like this. Pick up that nerd. VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Without the VIP oh. manning the turret controls, there's nothing keeping the lost from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, so. How close are they? Are we gonna take damage next turn? I don't think so. Oh, maybe this guy can block this. Just run like hell, Abigail. Run like hell. Um. Okay, so we're gonna try and get up here. Um, get over this way. Need to make sure that we have enough moves to do it. Nice to shoot some of these dinguses. Can't shoot them in one. Can't kill them in one hit. Well, we can, but the. Go like this. Um, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna sprint up. Here. Okay, we're Double time. Nethi. And then, are there any other ways into this building? Yes, there are. It's not safe. Moving to designated position. Be nice if you can kill this guy. All right. Okay. 
So yeah, we got when we kill some one, once again when we kill one of these lost zombie radiation zombie nerds, we refund we get an action refunded. Uh, of course, we got uh, each each soldier has two actions on our on the player's turn. Each soldier gets two actions. Um, okay, uh, I think we're just gonna watch. Ah, uh, we gotta run fast. We gotta go fast. Uh, I have not seen the aliens fire team. Yeah, evac's back at spawn. Okay. We're coming up. Oh, oh. oh my god. Whoa! Whoa! And we missed! 73% shot! Are we gonna take damage? Holy fuck! There are so many of them. Firebrand is in position. Okay, get back so to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. Um No, I can't. Okay. Um, okay, we gotta do something to uh, help out our buds over here. Okay. Let me get in position to clear the way here. Sort of can, but then that's gonna open it up to all of these dicks down here. Oh boy! Stressful moment. You know what? We're gonna have to hopscotch one of these guys back here. Okay, so here's the move. We gotta, we gotta... can be oh this boomer explodes oh fuck so this is this is one of the new units in a better advent uh and yeah they're kind of like fallout ghouls really except they're like feral ghouls um so this guy's gonna blow up when i kill him he's one of the new units in this mod hopefully he doesn't have a radius that would be so broken if he had a radius of like three so please kill it Oh my god, what?! And when he explodes, he brings another swarm?! <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. So bad. Okay. Oh, oh. oh there's so many! There's so many! Um, okay. But here's the thing that we can do. We get all of our actions refunded when we kill one, so we're just gonna... Oh my god, I thought my heart fucking just stopped. It looked like she missed. A <laughs> 100% shot. Uh... Okay. Good, this is good. Pew pew, this is... It looks just like she's missing them. Kill confirmed. Okay, so, oh my god, we don't have enough moves to not get pummeled this turn, I think. Oh my god. Like, I, I could, I could dash over here. But that's still probably within range of a lost. So the thing is, if I pick this guy up, so we can carry this unconscious nerd. Does it take an action? I hope it doesn't. Okay, it's a free action. 
That's so good. Oh man. Boy. Hey, Sir Whippersnaps, welcome back. Thanks, bud. Thanks for being here. Um. Okay, so we are gonna have to get get over. Oh my God, he's gonna. I can't. I need. So I need to. I need to get these two zombies in my line of sight, which does that which I have here on this tile. And then, and then I think if I. Can kill them both, then I think we won't take damage this turn. On my way. Come on, Toad Sensei, baby, baby. One down. Seventy-six percent on this next one. Yes. We live another turn. Um. So if we take this guy and block this ladder, because you can block the ladders to prevent them from coming up, then we will be safe from this horde that's, I think there's units down here, right? Isn't there? There's not. Maybe I should just fucking book it. Oh, maybe I should book it over here, block that ladder. Ooh, I like that move. Let's do that. Um, wait. First. Yeah, we're gonna just book it. Stepping off. Okay. I did pick up the soldier, right? Okay. Yeah, check this out. So you can carry you can carry unconscious soldiers. Look at that feat, that unbelievable feat of upper body strength. <laughs> Carrying a grown ass person with one hand and then pulling yourself up a fucking pipe with the other. That's, that's, that's beautiful. So if we actually just go over here, then we can, oh no, 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 we, yeah, we can do that. Position confirmed. And then this guy can go right here. Okay. And probably get a couple hundred percent shots off. Refund those actions. Oh, it's a 95% sh shot, but I don't trust it. I don't trust it. If, if I miss on a 95% shot in the 1 in 20 chance of that, then this soldier is dead. And probably this soldier is dead, so I'm just not going to do that. I'm going to do the safe thing. Because I've been I've been burned too many times, man. I don't trust it. Don't trust That's it. Affirmative. That's the responsible thing to do. Uh, now, uh, Abigail Brown is going to just get on up over here. Yeah, just, just gonna giddy up. Move that science test butt. Um, and then we're gonna we're gonna Overwatch again. That was a good turn. Yeah. So this is just one of the mission types. Um. Uh, whippersnaps. This is, um, most, the, mo the majority of the missions are actually, oh my god, I keep missing on those 80% shots with the pistol. Most of the missions are actually fighting, like, high-tech alien troopers and weird alien jerks. Oh. Oh my god, that's a lot. Holy shit, this guy is blocking the ladder that we need to get to to survive. Oh, man. Hey, thanks for coming by, Commander Nebulous. Star Commander. Um, so, if Katya... I don't think Katya can outrun these, zomb these zombos, so I think we have to... Um... Try to shoot them. <laughs> we have to try to stand in place and shoot them. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
Go for this one first. And try to chain these together as much as we can. This guy, can you see? Which one of these can you see? What is this fucking guy? Why does he have seven hit points? Lost Brute? Oh, that's such a bad time. Uh, okay, so we're gonna try and pick these nerds off as best we can. Let's shoot them. No longer a threat. Could use some ammo over here. Can you get up here? Oh, that would be tight. Abigail is gonna be safe up here. It'll give us vision. That's the move. One deck over here. So we can see one. So this, I'm worried about this guy right here. Uh, it's Dasher. 20 mobility. Holy shit. Oh boy. 20 mobility. So there's. Uh, maybe. Maybe no way to outrun. Because he's standing right next. Well, no, no, no. The mobility of Katya is 11. So if we run as fast as we possibly can, maybe there'll be. Maybe. Uh, like, because 11 is what they do in a single turn. Right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how that math works. Never mind. Never mind what I said. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that might be able to outrun them. We really gotta take care of this nerd first. Target disabled. Need a resupply. <laughs> yeah, they're close. Yeah. The st <laughs> this stress. I don't know if you guys feel the like the, the stress and the exhilaration from like every fucking 80% shot, you know, like, <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, and I'm trying, I'm trying to over explain every thought of mine so that it's like, maybe a little bit more, um, Engaging because I know it can be uh, Like if, if there's nobody talking and you're just watching a guy play a board game, what is essentially a really hard board game um, Yeah uh, That's but here we go. Okay. I think we just have to run we just have to run Like hell we gotta run Like hell we're, we're running like hell We're in again Go, Katya, go! With your incredible upper body strength. Oh. I'm gonna take this time to reload. Um maybe we can maybe we can even overwatch. Maybe we can kill the dasher. The sniper overwatch, that'd be nice. We'll reload there. Take a piece out of this brute. Oh wait. Do you think that Dasher can can attack Toad Sensei? Should we just fucking run? I think Toad is like one square closer. Oh my god, do we run and give up blocking this ladder? I don't think there's anything over here. So I think we do just run. Stinky new and hell yes, brother? Enemy within. Uh, I only... I think Enemy Within... Yeah, Enemy Within was the first XCOM I ever played. My brother was like, Dude, you gotta play this game. You're gonna love this game. And I like, wait, I sat on it for like a year. And then I played it and I was like, I'm never gonna play anything else ever again. 
And that's the story of how I got over 2,000 hours in XCOM 2. Uh, I think we're just gonna fucking run. We just have to run. We have to run. We're gonna Overwatch there. Oh, uh, how fast do you run? Oh, kill it! Oh, yes! Enemy down. Some Overwatch fire. Nice dudes. Shit, look, they got so close. I think that was totally the right move to move um green friend here away. Okay. So this turn. I think we can safely run you just Hail Mary, Abigail, helpless science test all the way. As far as we can go. And then... Oh, yeah. Oh, I got... I got it. I got the moves here, folks. I got the moves. We got the moves. Uh, there better not be a zombie over there. There's not a... There's nothing over here. There's nothing over there. There's, there can't be anything over there. There's definitely not anything over there. No. No. All right. We're good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Run everyone like hell up to this area, block this ladder. We're not even gonna risk. We're not gonna risk. No. Okay, so we don't have any 100% shots, so we're not gonna do it. <laughs> uh, although, I do have a 100% shot against this Lost Dasher, but my pistol only does 2 to 3. So that's essentially a 66% chance of getting murked in the face. Uh, when we can safely otherwise run our asses out over here. We're just gonna run our asses out over here. Oh, okay. And I think we'll be safe this turn. I'm gonna press... I'm gonna press the button now. Uh, yep. Just thinking. On One last thought. Yep. Pressing the button. Totally, definitely press that button. And everyone else has enough range. Oh my god. Katya is, like, one space away from getting absolutely destroyed by zombies, but she's gonna make it. Uh, let's get you up here. Double time. Let's get you up here. Alright. Okay. Good. Go up here. Get you. Up there. Roger that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, make sure the carrier's last one up and we're good. So we're not totally safe here because they can come up that other one over here. Menace one five, keep pushing towards the evac but point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. It is a in. dasher. They might be able to catch. I don't think they'll be able to catch up with them. So we're gonna get our science tests out of here. See you later, Abby. Firebrand is the um, VIP safely on board the Sky Ranger. And. I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't. I still don't even trust. I don't trust this 88% shot. I do not trust it. What does that sound? I think we're just gonna fucking run like hell again. Yeah. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Fuck it. it. Running. We're running. Luneth can actually get away. Kinda cool. Already there. Yep. And there's gonna be there. Getting it done. 
And we're actually gonna... Yeah. Back you. Nice. Oh, they're right up there. They're right up there. We're just gonna run the fuck away. We're gonna very bravely run. We've recovered the VIP's escort. We'll get her patched up and ready to redeploy into the field. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. We successfully <laughs> shot. rescued Let's the get expedition, off. Commander. The resistance All this mission. will be happy to hear it. XCOM Jesus is back, baby! Although not really, he's still injured technically. <laughs> All right, that's good though. I feel good about that. I was so worried if if there was a uh, if a chosen showed up, that would have been impossible. It just to totally impossible. That's a propaganda message. That's the the, the narrative, of course, is that the the aliens have. For some reason that we don't know yet in the storyline, put in place this giant propaganda machine to, um, to, uh, soothe, placate the populace. Exactly or what type of reasons yet unknown. Oh, balls. So Sarah got shaken. Sh uh, so sh Sarah is shaken because we took her entire, but these, these two made it out. Uh, or, or Squatty Martinez made it out. Still tired. Good. Yeah, we got two. We got two. Uh, what are they called? Flat tops? Blowouts. These guys are looking real sharp. I mean, I mean that's a that's a killer look too. Um. Sarascara. Um. I don't think I want return fire. I think I want return fire. Oh man, God, I can't even remember the builds in World of the Chosen. Pistol builds are actually really good if I remember correctly on sharpshooters. But but return fire is kind of potato, I think. Long watch is also kind of potato. I'll decide later. We've got a rookie. Nethy is a ranger. Congratulations. Nethy, you are a ranger. You have a sword and a shotgun. Toad Sensei, congratulations, you are a sharpshooter. With very, very high aim. Which is really good. Uh, really into that. Okay. I'm not sure what to... Long watch, I still don't feel like long watch is even that easy. Fuck, I'll leave. It <laughs> so we completed our optional objective as well. We've we are stronger by far when working together. Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Those are actual twerp lyrics. Aren't they? Didn't we make a song? Your skill is unquestionable, Commander. Something like that. Alright. So, Sarah Scare is shaken because. Okay, so this is what happens. Rest required. Combat has taken an extreme mental toll on the soldier. They will not be available for deployment until they have rested. Uh, and we got our science test over here. We got our, had our lab coat nerd. Before now, we've never had the resources um, to investigate the possibility of clandestine. Oh no! So oh no! <laughs> Sarah Scare has generalized anxiety order. Website. Negative trait acquired. I'm worried about what we might find. They could be doing anything. <laughs> Relatable. Uh, chance to hunker down in a defensive posture after the first move action. That's really bad. That's really sketchy. Although, not that bad if we're going to be a long range sniper who's just sitting still. XCOM 2 reels. Yeah, I know, right? It's my life on the line out there, not yours! 
But we can we can train that out of Sarascara later on in the infirmary, if I recall correctly, uh, which is a facility that we can build in the Avenger. Here. So, 14 days, that's a long time. But the good news is that XCOM Jesus will be back in action for our next mission. Um, and we have a fresh specialist, which who we're gonna turn into uh, a cone zone nerd for sure. Um, yeah, we got a couple nerds here that we that we have to update, and that we're gonna we're gonna turn into uh, cone zone nerds as well. Um, but hey, that seems like a, a, a good spot to uh, to call it for today, folks. Um, Ooh, Bruce, do you want to be a soldier, bud? Bruce, do you want to be a soldier? Fucking email me, dude, or just text me or whatever. <laughs> your what you what you want your first and last name to be, and your nickname, and your favorite colors, and uh, kind of like a hairstyle, maybe. You no, know? uh, if only if you want. Um, yeah, dude, I'll I'll do my best not to get you killed. I am still hard at work on the current research priority, Commander. Uh, so we, we found a resource cache from there. Um, dude, there's only like there's only like a forty percent chance that you'll that you'll die. It's like that's not that bad, uh, you know. But I did, yeah, really good not getting anybody killed this stream. We 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 ran two flawless missions. It looked dicey there in that first one for a while. Um, very good, very good, folks. Wow, just wonderful. Ward draws? You fucking magical little angel. Thank you for all those those gifties. Appreciate it. Uh I now is the probably the word <laughs> I just realized that it's uh what is it, what do they call it? What are the kids calling it these days? September? September or something? I think where you know it's twenty percent off. Fifty percent. Well, now that it's the end of the month, uh very good. <laughs> uh Anyway, thank you all so, so much for being here. Uh, Brucey, thanks for the sub again, bud. Uh, Skull, I hope, I hope you're having a good day. And what do you say we, we get you some, uh, we get you into the action a bit soon? Because you're, you're on the, you're, you're, you've been on the bench in, in this campaign, but we're, we're going to get all of our rookies in there soon. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Nethy, great job. Good shooting, you know? Congrats on the flawless mission. Very relieved I did not immediately die, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's looking good. It's, uh, it's looking good. Um, uh, and Friday's chat, thank you. Um, uh, uh, Ugg. Ugg the Orc. Ugg the Orc. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Thanks for the sub. Uh, happy to have you here. Uh, unfortunately, we're just about to call it for the night. Um, you know, it's, it's Tubes Day. It's tubes day, you know, we don't like to go too, too ham on tubes day. It's tubes day, it's tubes day, it's tubes day, oh yeah. You know, um, only every day was tubes I mean, they, they kind of are. Um, <laughs> um, right on, um, science, so, oh, you want to hear about some science center? Uh, Let's see. I learned that um, I learned that uh, that uh, that uh, whales are descended from uh, cloven hooved, ancient cloven hooved land mammals. So if you can imagine that a whale was once a cow, a, like a giant fucking land cow, kind of makes sense, right? Um, ungulates, exactly. Uh, also, there was like uh, there's like um. Uh, there was like a fully, uh, a fully functioning, self-sustaining, uh, coral ecosystem, which was dope. Like it, it was technically not an aquarium because they don't feed the fish or any of the, the living things because it's all just a self-sustaining loop with the, the algae and then the, the, uh, the algae goes to the little, the little critters in one tank and then the little critters eventually go into the bigger tank and become food for the bigger critters fuck, fuck it's science man and it's actually really cool because 
uh, Coral dying is like the saddest thing in the world. So to know that we have the power with our with our big brains to regenerate and create little ecosystems like that sustainable that's just wonderful that's freaking wonderful science um <clears throat> yeah right on okay so the ancient alligator that could gallop like a horse <laughs> okay uh i have not heard about that i have a really awesome mental image though of like knights riding alligators instead of horses you know that's the, that's the timeline i want to live in a galloping alligator like that no that, that's like that's like a warhammer that's like a warhammer fucking uh unit right there total war warhammer you know what i mean like fucking as someone atop a charging alligator um Oh, alligator jousting. Yeah, holy shit. Florida Knights. Yeah, pretty much, right? Um, all right. Anyway, everybody, thanks so much for being here, uh, for joining me on this uh, wonderful Tuesday evening. I think we had a, a very successful uh, night, you know, two, two flawless missions. Um, we got uh, only, only one of us was uh, diagnosed with general anxiety order, which is pretty good, you know, uh, like in terms of, you know, the average you know only one of us it's not bad um uh let's see how many more days uh xcom jesus right well he will be rising from the bed because oh, he's not dead he's just hurt uh he'll be uh risen from the bed uh for our next mission on friday that's fun slightly wounded i'll be back in action something to look forward to and i will i'm gonna do my very best not to get um you know Shot in the face with a green beam by a weird naked alien man. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, Reina, Reina Tattoo. Thanks for thanks for being here. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Uh, uh, everybody, I'm going to be, of course, uh, streaming our, our usual ritual night on Friday night at 7 p.m. Uh, regular same cone time, same cone channel. <clears throat> yes. All right. Uh... Shall we? I believe we're gonna call it for this evening. There's no Gooby time tonight because, of course, that's that's part of ritual night, folks. That is that is the ritual that we perform every every Friday night. We do this ritual to summon my dog at the end, you know. So we gotta you gotta we gotta keep his stock high, you know. It's all about supply and command, you know. Um, <clears throat> I'm also losing my voice because I've been talking all day. So everybody. Have an amazing night. Have an amazing rest of your week. Uh, appreciate you all very much being here and uh, everyone who's uh, donated and sub. It's wonderful. So, so much. And, uh, hey, is Brucey is Brucey here? Is streaming tonight? I wonder if we could... Um... Oh my god. Holy shit. Is T Pain actually streaming right now? <laughs> that's a. That's a. I. <laughs> uh, Brucey. Oh, Brucey, you're still here. Um, okay, that's a. Like, I mean, I kind of want to just. I don't know if. I, I, got an, I got an ad. I just want to make sure that this is actually. Frig off, ads. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely. Uh, uh, let's see if we can. Can we raid T Pain? I don't. I doubt we can raid. Meowch, dude, you didn't email me yet. You need to email me with your character customization. I'm gonna make you into a nerd, 100 million percent, dude. Oh, guy, let me know. Uh. Oh, dude, we're so raiding T Pain right now. <laughs> I don't even know what's really going on, but. 
I think it's gonna be. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be T Pain, man. Uh, yeah. Um, why not Team Captain? Uh, well, you know, maybe because uh, you know, uh, burgers can't be cheesers, you know. As the old uh, that old chestnut goes. <laughs> Team Commander. Uh, you know what? I could make you into an officer. I, are, are there officers in this? I can't remember if that's just in Long War 2 or if that's in War of the Chosen. Anyway. Uh, we'll see. You have to prove yourself in combat first, nerd. You don't just become the captain of an XCOM squad. No! You have to... You have to... You have to prove yourself in combat. Uh... All right. Anyway, everybody, have an amazing night. Have an amazing, uh, wonderful rest of your week. And I'll see you on Friday. Until next time, folks, uh, enjoy T-Pain, I guess. All right. Have a great night. Take care, everybody.